Good evening and thank you for joining us. Let us begin with a prayer. Dear God, show us your light so that we may return to the right path whenever we go astray. Give us the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive for all that honors his name. Amen. Let us reflect on the reading from Matthew chapter 12 verses 1 to 8 At that time Jesus went through the grain fields on the sabbath His disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them When the Pharisees saw this they said to him Look your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the sabbath He answered Haven't you read what David did when he and his companions were hungry He entered the house of God and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread which was not lawful for them to do but only for the priests. Or haven't you read in the law that on the sabbath the priests in the temple desecrate the day and yet are innocent? I tell you that one greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean I desire mercy not sacrifice you would not have condemned the innocent for the son of man is the lord of the sabbath the sabbath was supposed to be a day of rest and devotion allowing individuals the time and mind space to focus on god but the pharisees had drifted so far from God's expectation for the sabbath by becoming overly obsessed with rigid rules and external appearances that they failed to grasp God's heart and also failed to grasp Jesus's ministry if you have been listening or watching the news lately it is mostly about some political or social issues that divide opinion followed by the debates arguments and counter arguments of individuals blaming each other for not listening to the people how often do we find ourselves getting caught in these political and social divides and differences of opinion and we find these not just at national and international level but right in our communities neighborhoods workplaces churches and sometimes even within families and before we know it we are arguing and defending our point of view so much that we miss completely listening to or understanding the concern of the other person and we all know people who will love dearly who are on both sides of the argument but more often than not we allow these issues to wedge us apart and separate us from loving each other this is exactly what drives us further from god let us focus on our own understanding of god's command for us individually are we through our words and deeds loving god and ourselves as god wants us to are we doing everything we can to keep these thoughts out of our lives and not allowing them to disturb the peace that god is calling us to live let us pray dear god as we retire for the day we thank you for your word let it inspire us to seek deeper understanding of your heart to embrace your mercy and compassion and to approach your commands with the spirit of love and grace help us to strive to honor the true intent of your commands and reflect your character through our lives and the way we interact with you, each other bless us with a heart that worships you in all that we are and all that we do transform our hearts so that we can offer others what they truly need from you mercy and love 
with this thought in our hearts bless us with a peaceful night's rest in jesus name we pray amen